I am Jeff Potter, and I'm from ArtYourBackDoor.com, and I like to help people learn how to have fun outside. I'm going to teach you a really easy way to learn how to cross-country ski. That is by just putting some poles on your hands, but no skis. You don't even need snow. Um, I heard a top Olympic coach once say you can imitate skiing to 95% accuracy on dry land. So this is not a drill for skiing, which there's a lot of videos about uh, exercises for skiing on dry land. This is actually showing you how to ski. Um, the big problems with learning how to ski are um, people getting the arm timing wrong or people um, kicking really late and so losing all grip. If you practice uh, dry land a little bit, which basically nobody does, but they should, if you first start out with uh, dry land ski imitation, and you can do it in the snow or any time of year, uh, you'll get the correct uh, hand motions down much more easily than when you're distracted by big long skis on the tee. So this is uh, ski imitation. You just go back and forth, timing the polling with your walking. It's also called Nordic walking. It's a new uh, act fitness activity where people hike with poles and get extra fitness. But you can actually imitate skiing doing this. Now, you can, um, you know, they say like if you can walk, you can ski, and that's true. But actual cross country skiing involves gliding and involves rhythm, and there's kind of an impulse or pulsing to it. Um, so, to imitate that with dry land, you don't just go like this. You get a little more dynamic. You can pretend like you're skiing. Watch, I'll, I'll show you how you start. So, you get a little forward tilt going. And you plant the pole with your leg action. And you complete the polling with each step. Look at, I'm not reaching forward like this. A lot of people will learn to ski um, standing straight upright with the poles very upright. And that, that's a nice, that works for skiing on the flats. But it is very helpful to learn how to ski more correctly so you can get grip when you need it, like going up any kind of uphill. And to do that, you need to put all your weight on each on the on the ski and time it with a pole, pole action. You can do this. Um, another thing is you always use natural arm action with leg action. When people first learn skiing, they often will do like bear walking. And they'll do opposite, um, opposite the natural hand and leg action that we do when walking. When humans walk, we go like this. Bears apparently walk like this. So you can also imitate uh, skiing with a pounce, more of a coiling up. And to do this, you don't need to raise your feet very far off the ground. You can skim the grass when you're doing it. We're trying to kick and glide ourselves along like we're on skate our skateboard. We're not trying to bounce up and down or make any extra work for ourselves. We just want to put all the weight on the ski, get it gripping, and then glide. So just this dry land action, we're planting the poles at a bit of an angle, kind of near you. Do this about for, actually, if you just did it for a minute before your first time you put skis on your feet, you'd be a lot better off. 